Hey guys, Dan from Subi Shop. Uh, welcome to another video. We're excited to bring you this one. As you might have seen uh, WRX that we've done a few cosmetic mods to, and also some bolt-on engine parts. Um, we're building another engine for it. This is the next phase. We'll go into that later. We're, today we're going to do a six-speed conversion. So we're going to put six-speed gearbox in, this, new heavy-duty clutch, and we're going to go through that and go through that process with you, show you what components we use. Um, so we've got just down here, we have some of the parts ready. We've got the six speed box, which came out of a low kilometer H6 Gen 4 Spec B Liberty. Uh, good gearbox. Uh, we've got the diff to match and the flywheel that came off the six speed. Um, had that machine, we just got that back this morning. So that's ready to go and we had a brand new CD clutch kit. Um, so yeah, we've, everything's here and we'll go into detail of what parts were needed during the process um, so you can follow along, hit like, subscribe and yeah, stay tuned for this one. So clutches are always a good point of discussion when building these builds. We use the Exceedy, we went for a heavy duty version. We've done these versions a lot. Um, they feel nice and they're not too crazy heavy, not too harsh and they work well so we're going to stick with that. So at the moment, we're looking at got about 180 kilowatts. We're looking at probably getting to around 300 after we finish the engine build on this. Um, so we're going to do the six-speed conversion first, so customers can enjoy driving around with that while we wait the engine build, so it's not sitting on the hoist for a month because we're always going to be waiting on parts. Um, so we'll do that part first. Plus, we're going to do a brake upgrade as well. So with brakes off that Spec B Liberty, we're going to put on here. We'll do a slotted and dimpled rotor um, and we'll use the H6 calipers um, so a bit more braking power there compared to the stock WRX one so that'll be a nice little upgrade for it as well. So trying to get this thing up on the hoist I think and yeah get started on it. All right now we're up in the air let's go have a look. First thing we're going to do we did put this NVIDIA exhaust on so that's all going to come off in the dump give us access to everything all the way. Probably leave this back section on um, and just take it from that point there. And then we've got access room for take the dip out. But first we're gonna drain the oil in the gearbox. All right, so we've got the exhaust unbolted and the clearance now underneath and then it's just drain the oil from the gearbox. But as for the brake upgrade, we just thought we'd show you what we're going to put on. So these are your standard WRX G3 brakes, a little underwhelming, but we're going to be putting these rotors on from H6, obviously not on backwards like that, just for demonstration purposes. But they're a lot bigger, they're 310 mil. So a bit more braking space and with the caliper and yeah should stop a bit more efficiently with that so we'll paint them up make them look nice and that'll be our front brake setup for now
one MD transmission tunnel is out. There it is there. We put it next to the six speed CC comparison. Cute little gearbox. Big difference. We've got our new thrust bearings, spigot bearings. We put the flywheel and clutch kit in. All right, so we've just popped the uh, drive shafts out, popped them out past the circle so they're free. Uh, taking the two 17mm nuts off the back mounting studs here around your diff bushes. And there's two big long bolts through this mounting part here. Um, so we're just gonna lower the, the diff itself to get a bit more space. Moving it forward. So it just drops the studs out of the rear. Give a little bit of a tickle with a screwdriver. You should be able to go down and out. One shaft free. So uh, we've got the clutch installed. We're just gonna prep our gearbox and bell housing setup to, to reinstall and put it back together. So you wanna grease up your input shaft, particularly around the snap where it goes inside the spigot bearing. Uh, grease up this area too where your thrust bearing moves. So we also wanna grease our pin and have our clutch fork ready to go. I like to use a little 10 mil bolt uh, just to fit straight in here makes it easier to remove it and just to handle it and put it back together. So, let's we'll start by making sure we've got the clutch fork the right way around. Make sure the part where our slave cylinder pin pushes into is facing back towards it. Just loosely pop him through the cover boot. Yeah, our thrust bearing, throw out bearing, whatever you want to call it. Make sure we just put a little bit of grease on the uh, metal to metal contact points just to avoid any noises later on. Slide him up. Back in his spot. Now if we go around to the side here, we've got an opening where our pin goes through for the fork. Lightly put him through and if we have a look through the front of the bell housing, we just have to make sure it's the right orientation, the cutout for the pin here. Just slide him through. Slowly but firmly. Quickly just remove the 10 mil bolt out of the back of the pin. Get him out of the way. We have our cover plate or cover bolt, plug, whatever we want to call it. Fix him up in here. And a quick heads up, when you go to, to tighten this one up, don't over tighten it because in the front, you can push your pin through here and potentially break this here. So not too tight. Should be ready to go.
Yeah, it actually looks better than real. <laughs> What's that? Thanks, man. Oh, here we go. That's the end of the week. Look at that. Put music behind it, said that one. Feeling defiled with a smile. <laughs>